computer. All right, perfect. So we're here today um, trying out a new thing. Obviously, everybody on the sub on Discord, they know that uh, as Agnar, they fucking hate doing video. Um, but again, the goal here is just to kind of talk to the people that play the game, shoot the shit. Uh, I actually have your .gg account pulled up from the last time we talked. Uh, oh, shit. And I, I actually think that you you followed through on a lot of the things that we talked about when I did a, a, a quick look through, um, you know, and then I know between you and me, um, we are always sending each other pictures of what we're drinking. I pulled out a beautiful Japanese whiskey that a buddy of mine got for me. Have you yeah, had this? that used to be from the hood. So you've that, had that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good stuff. Up. I I have a yeah. never had it. Yeah. Ah, it's smooth and it's it's yeah. You wouldn't you wouldn't taint that with any kind of um, mixer at all. No, you'd have that. No, you know what? I, I got a friend who who knows a lot about whiskey, and um, unfortunately, he found out he's a little bit of an alcoholic. And instead of pouring everything down the drain, he said, "You know what? Let me drive this over to Egg's house and uh, and bequeath him my collection." And uh, so I've been drinking myself slowly through it as I text yeah. him and go, "Hey man, thanks." Yeah, um, lovely, lovely. It's nice stuff. I'm I'm uh, I'm not drinking uh, uh, liquor like you are. I'm drinking. Uh, it's called it's called hard solo. So it's basically it's like an alcoholic lemon fresco. Is that it's what you sent me the other night, or is that something different? This is something different. This, this is, is something basically different. Basically, soft drink in a can, but it's six percent. So about four point five. So yeah, it's like I don't know, yeah, we, we don't have anything yeah. over that like that. But I'll tell it's you what, I actually came prepared too with a local beer, yeah. so, so we can do something <laughs> similar as well. Yeah. Cheers from the other side of the Cheers. world. Yeah, finally a sneaky beverage. Mm. So, you know, first things first because I do want to make this semi about the game, right? Uh, we talked last time about your, your roster and like, um, I think just before Halloween, literally I'm looking at the discord on my computer over here. Um, mm -hmm. And we were talking about like Ray, the bundles, all that bullshit. We were going back and forth and you're like, should I get them? And I was like, dude, you already bought the fucking bundles, right? Like you might as well. Yeah. Um, so I see that you've been working on that, but then we were also talking about the assault battles, and this is two months later. Mm. How how has that been? Um, the the only one that I can't get, so I'm CT two on all of them. Um, okay, the so rebel, let's go. The, the rebel one for CT three, I can get right to the end, but Thrawn's fracture is let's killing see. me. Um, I, I think see. I need to work out the correct uh, order. But, you but, know yeah, what? Like you, you said, just keep spamming that event special, and you know, you, and, and it works well. It works great. Um, do you? Oh, you don't have Mothma yet. All right. Yeah, I mean, with what you have, you can definitely do it. That's mm, that's mm. that's no question. But you're you're right. Um, I remember doing like CT two back when relics were completely new, and um, I think my only relic was R two D two because Chupio wasn't even a thing at that point. Yeah. Right. And it all comes, yeah. it all comes down to like phase seven and like hitting things certain in the right order so that Han mm. can open up and then everybody kind of plays with each other and does its own thing. Mm, um, mm. Yeah, I get to the you... stage, I'm like, I get to the end bit and I'll, 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 I'll lose it and I'm like, I don't really want to go through seven battles against. <laughs> I'll wait for next month, man. It'll come back around, yeah. I'm sure. <laughs> that was me with the Night Sisters. Like with yeah. CT2 before Marin, I would try once a month. I go, no. Mm. Hello. Fuck this, I'm not doing it. And and I know people were doing it without <laughs> relics. Um, but I don't have that kind of time on my hands. I'm not gonna sit there in bed for four hours trying to figure that shit out. Exactly, exactly. No, it's, you, it's, um, it's um it's it's come a it's come a long way since we had that chat, definitely. Yeah, I'm seeing way more uh better returns for sure. Good. Yeah. Um do you do you have do you remod at all for this or no? I don't no. remod for anything. No? no. Do you have hot pot? Hotbot, yeah, uh, or no. high utilities, or I say hotbot. I think that's wow from years and years ago. No, no, uh, yeah, I don't, I don't really. No, no, I don't. I should get into it, maybe give it a crack. But, uh... Right, it's something. I think it's like five dollars, ten dollars a month. I don't pay for it. Um, my guild leader pays for it, and so oh. every once in a while, because we need it for like TB commands, and I'm the only asshole that'll sit there throughout the day and actually do it. 
Um, mm. But it has like this cool feature that the game really should fucking have where like you can screenshot your whole mod selection for everybody. Uh, so then you can fuck around with your mods and then go mm. right back to what you had before without having to do like all this crazy shit. Yeah, it's um, that saving loadouts and having to remember, all right, I took that off that person. It's going to go to, you know, which like back ripple. Yes. Back in the day, I used to have like a loadout for every single character. Right. So every yeah. character, I'd have like this whole like folder of like, this is this guy, this is this, this guy. But that was back when I cared. And now as I get lazier, I'm mm. like, I'm I'm not I'm not doing that and uh, I'm on that like the matter anymore, man. <laughs> I mean I'm on top of it. You know, I think you and I are at different points in the game. You're like six, seven million and I'm I'm at eleven million. I've been playing probably longer, right? I started in two thousand seventeen. Mm. Um, I started early, but I've taken breaks and stopped and then come back and all that sort of stuff. Like the last time I stopped, relics weren't a thing. And then I came back and they were so afterwards. Yeah. Right. So when relics first became a thing for me, uh, I was playing super casually, right? So like um, I started the game uh, New Year's Day because um, my wife and I we were supposed to go to a cycling class. She really wanted me to take the cycling class, and I woke up early. She wouldn't wake up, and so I just I found the game. I was really bored, and I sat there and I played and I played like I was like that once a day kind of player. Mm. Um, and I never wanted to spend money. I never wanted to do anything. I never wanted to show up on like her Apple ID. Um, and then around the time that you probably were coming back to the game in 2019, I realized I could merge it over. Mm. And then I spent a little bit more than I should have to, uh, get myself, <laughs> you know, caught up a little bit. Man, I've spent some money on a game. I'm not going to lie. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a dolphin or a whale or anything like that, but, uh, like getting a uh, boba up to R8 for executive, you know, that kind of, that was, I spent money on those mats because I needed them. Well, it just wasn't there in a guild or anything. But, uh, the way I, I see it. Meant, yeah, go on. Oh, no, go, go, go. It's the same. Oh, it's, I'm sure I said the same like, thing. It's the one piece of Star Wars media that I like at the moment. You know what I mean? Like that's, and it's a resource management game and I dig that sort of thing. And I thought, why not spend like a little bit here and there on something that makes me happy? And I'm getting returns out of it. You know what I mean? So it, it, I think that's okay. It's just when you get these, like, like conquest, have you need to be a, a whale in order to get those feats. You know, it's it's starting to go away that I'm like, oh, I don't know. I'm 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 really lucky. So as a teacher, um, next week we have off, right? So like Monday, which is the worst day of conquest. And oh, great, I can like actually sit my ass on the couch and get through the hardest part of it without mm. having to worry about, oh, I have to go to this job. I have to go to that job. I got to get this thing done. I got to get that, get that yeah, thing done. Yeah. Um, so I'm lucky, especially with the shit that they have going on now with like the, the I don't know, what is it? Um, stagger like 300 times and uh, <laughs> foresight like 400 times. Yeah, but they're also like including feats where you've got to use characters that are brand new, who, art accelerated. Who just, yeah, who just came out, have to right? Stay low. There's no way. It seems that bow, bow. Like I wonder how many uh, bow katans got unlocked yesterday. Yesterday, we can yeah. uh, we can actually take a look at that. Well, I'm sure she, she on, came in say. because like all of those are all relic sevens, but they're all brand new. It's like like Ke Keller and Beck, for example. You, you can't you you can't have him at relic levels already without spending a significant amount of money on the game. It's disgusting. And I, I, did he? I don't I don't think he's um, shipment farmable yet. No, right, I, don't believe so. I, I think he's I think he's in weekly shipments, but like that's, is, it, that, that's random, you know. So if he's in the weekly shipments, you I mean, I, I've got guys in my guilds that do that. They don't spend money. But like once it becomes shipment farming, that's where they spend all of their crystals. Um, oh, yeah. And I, I, I don't I don't know how. Let's see right now. Bo-Katan, right. Um, let's go to all of the guilds. There are. 722 of them is that all that's it that's crazy that's it. man that's crazy and <laughs> that's as of three hours ago yeah wow. right so so the event's been up over 24 hours of 700 i would say if we have two days left in this probably honestly 1400 is is probably yeah. where i'd go um because i think most of the people who would want to unlock her right are, are going to do it in that first day and try to get it done 
yeah yeah exactly exactly um yeah it's it's uh, it's mm, it's an interesting thing you know that's why i'm like hoping when we finally get our lord and savior he's not a he's not a conquest character just give me a, a marquee event or something like that you know what i mean i don't know uh, that sort of chasing i i'm 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 low-key hoping that meathead like just gives him to me i know it won't happen yeah. i know it won't, but like I'm just hoping one day I show up in my inbox and it says, oh, hey, like, by the way, by the way, you're the one that made this happen here. Have one. Because right now we're at 2044 signatures. That's awesome, man. Which I think means I have to read like a Colleen Hoover book or some shit. Um, (laughs) I'll have to ask my wife, which is like the smuttiest one so that I can find a Good yeah, you can get through it. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like I understand why Disney probably wouldn't want a character like Jar Jar in the game. I get it. You know what I mean? He's he's a caricature. You know what he's I mean? Problematic. It problematic. Great. Right. Yeah, there you go. There's the there's the terminology. But fuck, man. Like, it, I'm sorry for the language. But he's like a dozen people got, are going to see this. We've got Lobot. We've got Ag- there's Agnot. There's an Agnord in the right. game before right. Jar Jar. What, what? <laughs> for years, for years. <laughs> for years, you've had all of these characters, right, that that, that mean complete jack shit. And we had, yeah. I mean, now the Tuscans matter. Now you have like three Tuscans other than the ones from before. But um, we had mm-hmm. Tuscan Raiders in there for like five years and they were completely useless. Um, yeah. Which is yeah, yeah. crazy. Um, Jar Jar, I think... Look, I get it. I, I've talked to Kazgul and, and I know for him it's like it's a big like racial thing and it's a big deal. And I'm sure my lived experience, your lived experience is probably very different from his lived experience. So I, I understand that. I, I was younger when the movies came out. I was maybe 2001, eighth grade. Um, I didn't get all of that shit. To me, it was just this yeah. silly reptile character, you know, yeah. Um, yeah. That's my lived oh, experience as a as a as a sheltered suburban guy uh, living in white New York, um, <laughs> affluent like middle class. We didn't we didn't have those problems, and I didn't see those problems around me. Um, mm. So I get that it's more problematic, but I, I'm trying. I'm yeah. trying. Yeah, I get you. Man. I get open. You. That was the same. I think we we might be around the same age. So uh, 2001, I think I was. 13, 14 years old, something like that. Yeah, yeah. so um, I, I was born in 87. 88. All right, there we go. Same old man, age. Old man. Um, I, I never saw that. I just thought, yeah, this guy's goofy. And I didn't like him for a while. And then hating on the prequels was popular. We did that. Um, but looking back at it, like, I, those movies are great. They're wonderful, wonderful films. Um, yeah. I really, really do. He had to, had to get us uh, enjoyed uh, into politics. I don't know how we managed it, but he did. But... It's only recently, especially watching like uh, Troy Bond, you know, that comedian? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's telling stories about, you know, what is clearly a Jewish stereotype. And then you've got, you know, the Japanese Trade Federation and all this. Sort of, and that's when I was like, hang on a second. And yeah, it really opened my eyes to see. Like, there's there's a lot of this What shit other going people are Jewish. seeing. Yeah, 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 absolutely. Um, and, but I don't want to shit on anyone else's sort of experience about it. Because no, like it could have, yeah, problematic. <laughs> well that's the thing I, I don't know but but the thing is you know when we talk about like shitting on the prequels and 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 you go back to them and you say hey like they're actually not the worst movies in the world um I, i'm not like a star wars super fan um i grew up with it you know my brother is 10 years older than me he was born in 77 um star wars is a big part of his life growing up he's huge 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 into it i grew up collecting the action figures and being like the super dorky kid who would keep them in the packages just because mm-hmm. that's the kind of person I am. Um, yeah. But like I went back and watched the original trilogy maybe three or four years ago. And I tried to look at it just from the lens of like, are these really good movies? And, and if you actually watch them, like they're really fucking cheesy. Like the dialogue sucks. Like oh, it's not like fucking words to save his life, mate. He can't. <laughs> you know, people treat this shit like it's the Bible, but you you look at it and you go, this is like it's in, it's entertaining. I, I liked it as a kid. I still liked it. I still enjoyed it. Um, but it was cheesy as shit. Oh, objectively. Absolutely. absolutely. And when you go to the yeah. prequels and you give the prequel shit, you're like, they're not any worse than, no. than the original trilogy was. 
No, no. I think it's with the original, it, it just means so much. Like when I was a kid, I wanted to be Luke Skywalker. You know what I mean? Um, now, now I'm more like Tarkin. But um, <laughs> <laughs> it, it was the hero. Do you know what I mean? It's like I think, we, I think a lot of people attach that nostalgia, that feeling of wonder and that sense that we had when we were kids, attach that to the movie. And then that becomes, it's, yeah, it, once they're melded together, they can't see objectively that the movies aren't great. Like who who wrote does the movie with the wipe across the screen? You know that kind of shit. Like yeah, yeah, it's, it's the outdated, old school. But... It's it's almost yeah. like a PowerPoint transition. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> so it, but... it's funny that we kind of segued into this because I was driving home. We went to the movie. We were sitting in like almost Christmas Eve, like mall traffic, and I was thinking about like different questions to ask. And one thing that kind of like consistently popped in my mind and something that I think that I want to kind of find out from everybody that I talk to is like, I guess not necessarily the first time you were introduced to Star Wars, but like the, the big memory that you have. If you, so for me, like it was watching Star Wars on cable um, Christmas Eve, TBS always did the trilogy. Or not Christmas okay. Eve, New Year's, New Year's Eve. They would always do the trilogy, and I would sit my ass, and I'd, I'd go in the uh, living room on our, like, 18-inch family screen TV, and I would, like, put the pillows down, and I'd stay up all night watching every single movie, every single year, just because it was on TV. So you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, almost like that that core memory of what Star Wars, the essence is. Uh, Christmas, uh, 1997. Um, I, I, I hadn't even heard of it. And like, I got to give it to my dad because he undersold. So I, 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 you know, the on the VHS, it's like a gold. Box. I, ha- I have it somewhere upstairs. But yeah, the three, three of them. It's like one of the remasters or whatever. Yeah. Um, and I said, "What's this?" And he, and my dad goes, "Mate, it's a story that starts in the first movie and then it continues in the second one and then it ends in the third one." That's all he said. That was it. <laughs> And here I am, fucking years later, like decades later, talk having a conversation online about it. About but, um, with with another nerd about it. Yeah, but I uh, yeah, and we sat down. It was Christmas Day. Um, it was hot as fuck as it is in Australia, and uh, yeah, we sat and watched it, and I was I was hooked, hooked, just completely. And uh, it's unreal. Yeah, that's that was my big moment. And then and then uh, the next big one was when the Phantom Menace was going to come out. You know, and um, how it was ramping up, and they went hard on the marketing, man. Every I remember thing. it in like gaming magazines. I remember mm. it in like advertisements. It was all over the place. Yeah, uh, soft drink, oh, soda, as you call it over there in the. You know, I USA, had you know that kind of stuff. Everything. Star Wars Jada, Episode everywhere. One. Pepsi did a promotion where they did cans. They did like thirty-five cans. I had every single one of them. Yeah, and yeah. I just had them in my room full like a dumbass because then three years later they all like leaked out of the can <laughs> and everything in my closet was fucking ruined. <laughs> you know, like, I, I, yeah. yeah, but that second moment for me was watching the trailer and, and seeing that mall with a double bladed lightsaber. That was yeah. in my mind, man. You know, it, we take it for granted now, but that first thing I'm like, wait, they can come out the other end. Like what, holy shit. what is going on? You know? There's yeah, another yeah, kind yeah. of fucking unreal. lightsaber. Yeah, and they almost managed to recapture that with the sequels, with the cross, uh, the with cross the cross one, which, which I like. I don't mind it. It's a good, it's a good design. No, I think it got a lot of um, problems from the trailer. People are like, "This is stupid. Like, what's going on here?" But I, I mean, how many different new things can you do with a lightsaber? Like, cut them yeah. a break. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, exactly. I, I, I mean, that... I go to the movies every weekend, so like, I, I have a low bar for what's good and what's bad when it comes to movies. I'll see anything. I didn't think they were the worst thing. Well, the last Jedi was shit, but um, like force awakens, it was derivative, but I, I didn't hate it. There were a couple of really good moments in the force awakens. Like I went, I went to the cinema for it. Um, that, that was actually the first Star Wars film that I saw. In, at they the saw movie. in the theaters. Yeah. Yeah, everything else was on uh, at home. But there was a couple of little moments, like uh, Finn and Ray are uh, on Jakku when they, you know, first order Tie Fighters are coming in, and they're like, "What about that one? That one's garbage." And then the ship they're going for blows up, and they're like, "Be garbage it is." And you turn, and it's the Millennium Falcon, and that's the first time you hear original score. 
Yeah, music. yeah, yeah. It's all new music until you hear that. And that original score, to me, I was in the cinema, I went, oh, far out, look at that. You know, it, I'm getting goosebumps singing about it now. Like, they have a lot of really great, really, really great moments in those films. Miss the mark entirely, though, with a lot of them. You know, it's, it's kind of a... Uh, yeah. I, I think I've said this in the subreddit a lot, but like my brother, anytime I go visit, he lives like three hours away, but anytime I visit him and his family, he he's the bigger Star Wars fan and he will go on like a four, five, six hour like rant about how those movies have retroactively ruined his love of Star Wars uh, every single time I see him. Mm. And at some point I'm just like, I need you to just shut the fuck up. Like they're movies, <laughs> like they're... <laughs> <laughs> I have to remind myself of that often, man. It's like just they're, they're films. It's okay. But like I, like The Last Jedi, I thoroughly dislike that movie. I don't they, I don't believe that there are any real redeeming qualities about that film at all. I think that um, the guy went agree. out and like good on him for having a go and, and trying to subvert expectations. But you, you can't with something that's so established law wise. Yeah. You can't. You can't. You can't fuck with it. it. Yeah, you can add little bits and pieces, but don't change established law. You know what I mean? But um, so, my big thing with those movies, like who did them? Rain Johnson, somebody Ryan. Johnson, Ryan, Ryan Johnson, who did um, uh, Glass Onion and Knives Out, and and like I don't hate him as a director. They're great movies. Um, yeah, it's phenomenal. I don't blame him. Knives Out's awesome. Yeah, you know. Um, I don't. I don't think it was his fault. I, I. I have no problem with him. Um. I know a lot of people give him a lot of shit for being more cinematic with the movie. Um. I blame. I blame Disney, but not for being Disney, if that makes sense. You yeah. know. So yeah. like when they first started the trilogy, they were like, "We're gonna give these three movies to three different directors and three different writing teams, and we're not gonna have." like a cohesive force between them and just good luck. This is, this has to work. Jesus. And so now you yeah. have these three different people not communicating. Yeah. There, there's it was gonna never going to work. There's going to be, a, there's going to be a disconnect there somewhere, you know, yeah. and, and that shows on the screen. That being said, there's, there, there are a lot of really great things about the, uh, the sequels. Um, a lot of great shots. Like as much as I don't like that the Holdo maneuver is a thing, I don't like that it happens. You know what I mean? It breaks law. Why not just... But, but, it, but it looks cool. Space Ram the Death Star. But that cinematography behind that and the way that... And it stops. Like, that's yeah. great. It, it, it looks awesome. It really, really does. And it was effective when you the, the noise cuts out and all that. It, that's a that's a wonderful shot. Like, cine, talking to, like, cinematography. Awesome. It's very awesome. similar. That was, that, and that's... Sorry, I thought you were, were going to talk. So, yeah, yeah. So it, it's yeah. very similar to, I know you didn't see it in cinemas, but I think it was um, Attack of the Clones. Um, Django's Slave One, the first time you hear the seismic Bow. blast. Yeah. But when you were in the theaters hearing that, like you thought the sound cut out. So oh, wow. once that hit, everyone's looking around like, oh shit, like what happened? And then you oh, get yeah. that big fucking blast. You know, like, holy shit. What was My that? This is so cool. Wars. It was <laughs> it so cool. The best noise in all of Star Wars. <laughs> that, that, that bloody thing. Barrel. Yeah, Unreal. Like, what are they? Uh, the mining charges. Depth charges, I think they call them. Well, I think, I think they have them in the game. Like, they put it in Boba's Slave One instead yeah. of giving Django another one. The, the seismic charge or whatever it was. Um, I'm actually surprised. Slave one, though. Yeah. yeah, I know when that was like a thing, right? And everyone's like, "Oh, are they going to change the name of the ship? Is it going to just be like Boba ship or whoever ship or whatever?" Mm. Yeah, they did that in the new Lego Lego Star Wars game. It's Boba's um, spaceship. Boba's or whatever it is. Yeah. spaceship. Yeah. I should know yeah. that because I have I, the game. I, Yeah, but I, like I look at Slave One, I don't think of what what people went through in America 200 years ago. No, but but some <laughs> but some people do. I and... get that some people do, and that's the that's the yeah that's the lived experience that you were talking about. Yeah. yeah. Um, I I think I think the di- I, I, I'm gonna be canceled before I even start shit, but like, I think the difference here is like when you talk about like Jar Jar, there's like that stereotype stereotype behind it, and and there's like a real I don't want to say mm-hmm. malice, but there was like some sort of like negativity that was brought in that they tried to portray and with slave one it's a name Mm. it's a word it's a name like 
it, it's a word that's existed. It's a word that's going to continue to exist. Um, you know, yeah. I, in, in, in terms of computing and stuff, it's it's a common it's common. You know, you hear it all the time. Right. When, it, with computers, like building my computer, you have you, you have your master hard drive and then you have the slave hard drive. Like that's mm. yeah. So so for me, my experience is always oh, like master slave. Like that's that's computers. That's me building and playing like Age of Empires and setting up my computer to play Star Wars Galaxies as a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good old Age of Empires. Wasn't the, there was a game that was it was like Age of Empires one, but it had a Star Wars skin. Battlefront. Battle. I have it. Battle, it's the same exact game. Not Battlefront. Yeah. Battle. Uh, uh, Empire, isn't it Empire at War or something like this? Maybe it's empty. Do I? I don't. I thought I had top the down, disc, Top literally. down isometric yeah. RTS. Galactic, Battleground. Galactic, Galactic Battlegrounds. Galactic Battlegrounds. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, like it's the same game. Yeah, it is. It's, it's just It is. It's the exact same game. It's a skin mm. game. Um, I have it. Mm. I have it on Steam. Um, I, I actually just fixed my computer recently and I, I've been playing like Age of Empires. I need to boot that up at some point um, yeah, and dude. play through it. I'll have to send you a request on Steam and we'll, we'll play together. Just to Ignar. rush past the edge. Oh, yeah, yeah. Ignard's all over the place. I saw you. So, in, I saw a comment of yours in mildly infuriating on Reddit the other day and I'm like, this doesn't look fucking right, man. Why He's in the wrong <laughs> subreddit. <I'm> just... <laughs> you know, it's funny. Like every other day I'll get like a comment that has maybe like, 20 or 30 karma on it and someone would be like i didn't know you posted elsewhere yeah like i'm, I'm at work like i'm teaching my kids in a special right now i'm on like a break i just yeah. i'm yeah, on it's lunch like, it's like seeing that high school that your school teacher at the supermarket just living life just somewhere like else when i was a kid i was that silly i was like i thought they lived at the school wait they had actually had <laughs> you know what i mean i see my students around it's funny like <laughs> I sometimes I like I'll go to like bars in Manhattan. I'll be like, it'd be really cool if I watched. I looked over and someone was playing the game, and I could be like, Hey, are you on the Reddit? Like, who are you? Mm. Yeah, uh, what's your name? What's your name? Uh, can I take a look at your account and like just check it out? Let's have a beer. I'm sure there's plenty of people in Manhattan though. So yeah, uh, yeah I wanted yeah. to uh, make it. I'm sure, surely, surely. Um, how many people live on the island of Manhattan? A couple of what is it, million Manhattan's million? like maybe uh, I'm gonna get butchered, but like it's like between eight and eleven million. I want to say eight. Jesus I want to say eight. just on that little island. On that little There's island, twenty-eight in my entire country. Right? We we are few and far between. Um, but I wanted to come up with a shirt that says "I hate Chirotex" and just wear <laughs> that around Melbourne. Just, just around, see, see who knows. Like, yeah, who I, I, gets uh, it. Uh, yeah, I get it. I get it. Fucking Chirotex. <laughs> I, I toyed, I, I joked with people about having like uh, Agnard's merch. Um, and my fear was that people would actually buy it and not be in on the joke. Um, mm. Because I, 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 even with my business, like I, I own a karate school uh, and I try not to, um, I try not to monetize often. So I don't have a lot of merch. I have my t-shirts, which are like a uniform. That's it. I didn't do masks mm. during COVID. Um, I don't do like sparring gear. I don't do like sweatpants. I don't do hoodies um, like a lot of schools do mm. because I'm not into that shit. So my fear was if I made like Eggnard's hoodies as a joke and bought myself one and then posted about it, like jokingly, somebody, some, some asshole Someone would buy would take it. it seriously. So, yeah, I'd be the and, asshole that bought it. But then people would take it seriously and think, is this guy for real? Like, right. get over yourself, man. <laughs> <laughs> but for me, it would be like, this is just funny. Like, yeah, I, I right. think it's hilarious to have, and now I might do it, but. Um, well, your, your old Reddit player, that uh, enlightened genius uh, answering, what was it? Oh, uh, gee, uh, let me the see, how do I spell Eggnards? Enlightened yeah, that's genius funny. not answering really answering dumb stuff. Really dumb stuff, yeah. See, that's a, that's a shit. But you could have Eggnards in the Friends fucking logo, that font. <laughs> <laughs> and then underneath. See, that and they get my. Like, Get my ass sued. Is that the same yeah, amount true. of letters? Yeah, I, I can't even count for someone that does math. Friends One, two, three, four, five, six. No, seven, no, it's seven. Three. It's close. It's close enough. Maybe, maybe yeah. I'll do that. I'll, I'll hire a graphic artist to do something in those letters. <laughs> do it on and, uh... Canva, mate. Save yourself money. Do it on Canva. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'll man. tell you what, though. Going, going back on those movies, um, I, I feel like Rogue One doesn't get the the credits that it deserves. I think Rogue One is probably, a beautiful movie. I, it's a fantastic film. It's it's wonderful. It's 
my second favorite Star Wars film. Just. Rogue, Rogue, Rogue yeah. One is a beautiful film. It, um, I think it's, I think it's problematic in the sense that it's hard. It was hard. It, no, it's not problematic. It's, it was a hard movie to do because you had a very finite timeline. Mm. And I do think that they did it really well having to line things up so perfectly. Mm. Um, mm. I think there it's the only... Bits, they missed the mark, like the CG Tarkin. I don't like that. If, yeah. if the, 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 the Peter Cushing's passed away, you don't do it. Leave alone. Let him rest in peace. You know what I mean? The CG layer wasn't too bad, but it's already started to date. You can already... You're looking at it now and it feels dated already. But, but you know, but, that movie... Rogue One, I think it's one of the first movies to do something like that. Um, I don't remember which one. It was probably Rise of Sky, The Last Sky, whatever that last one is called, um, uh, where they did it slightly with Leia. Those are mm. some of the first movies to really like experiment with it. Uh, mm. And it, it's mm. getting better and better. It looks weird. Yeah. It does. Absolutely. It's got like this yeah. weird angel halo it's glare to uncanny it. Uncanny Valley sort of, yeah. Yeah. But... <sighs> You know, there are some moments in that Rogue One, like by far, it, well, you know, I'll probably get dragged through the coals for this, but the best space battle, hands down, in, in, in the entire, in all of it, the best space. But that fight over Scarif, you know, you've got the Star Destroyers coming in and fucking getting smashed up. And then you've got the Hammerhead Corvettes, you know, which is like, yeah, that, that's kind of, it, like, it, it feels to me, with especially with all these TV shows, it's like we're going to put this person here. So it's like, oh, do you remember this person? This person, blah blah blah. You know, but the and way they just bounces that hammerhead Corvette. That, yeah, just bang in, and you, like if you know, you know, but it doesn't have to be explained to you. It makes sense. Yeah, like, I, but the, I, I, think... was, I was, I was, I gave a shit about that, that, that the last battle. You know, I mean, they had me. I was hooked in. I think the coolest thing about that movie is the fact that everybody dies. Spoiler alert! Like. You know, right? The hero always wins. Star Wars, the hero always wins. Every movie ever, the hero always wins. Mm -hmm. In in this movie, the hero wins. They they get what they want, but everybody dies. They're all dead. They're all fucked. They're all gone, right? So, and this being like early Star Wars Disney, it's not something that you expected to happen. You go into it knowing that it's a failure of a, well, not a failure of a mission, but you go into the movie knowing that a lot of people die to get this information. But you're still like, oh fuck, everybody dies. Yeah. Holy well, shit. Yeah, it's real melancholy, you know, isn't it? And um, I, I let's see Ben Mendelsohn, great Australian actor, amazing as director Krennic, unreal. Yeah. Like thoroughly enjoyed him. I we, he is probably my number one character to give him a rework in the game. I think he should be far more effective than he actually is, you know. But I I actually like him in 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 the. I mean, it's it's a different atmosphere. But you're right, like. Mm-hmm. When when um when Kylo Ren first came out, right? That's like four years ago at this point, which is fucking insane to think about. But like, mm-hmm. Hux was uh, not Hux. Uh, no, I'm thinking of the wrong character. So fuck me running. Um, you're right. Krennic sucks in the game and does need a rework. Um, it really does. I'm like, yeah. oh wait, yeah, Hux is great. Like he's so good. What are you talking about? Right. Um, but that's me <laughs> just mixing up two white people because all white people look the same. Yeah, we do. We do. And we all smell <laughs> like wet dogs. Yeah, um, yeah no, I, 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 that movie's so... It's, and, and they introduce new concepts quite well, like the K2 uh, uh, droids, uh, you, you shore troopers. You know, because I was like, well, we haven't seen it in the original trilogy, so there's only so much that you can do in prequels, right, before you start breaking yeah. shit. And you go, well, why, why, why didn't we see them? Why shore isn't this there? Why sense. isn't that there? Why isn't yeah. this here? Yeah, yeah, but adding that, you know, Scarif, that that planet, and they're like, you know, the shore troopers, it, it works. You know what I mean? Like yeah. that's that's because we've never seen a shore. A great way we've seen that. sand. No. We've seen snow, right? Like yeah. we've seen. Yeah. Well, More Naboo sand. was years ago, so it's different. Yeah. Um, I hate sand. <laughs> it's so it's coarse and rough. And rough. <laughs> <laughs> but they right. did it quite well. I love that they used old uh, footage from the from the original trilogy for you know that space fight. Um, which is what I actually call the game Space Fight. Uh, you know, like that kind of little bits and pieces, they used actual, you can tell they were models. And you can you can just see it, you know what I mean? Like they did it really, really well. The only thing that's really jarring for me in that film is that there's the, 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 the score, the music. Is it's a little off. Not, yeah, well, they don't use any of the original sort of stuff. And for me, it's... music is 
massive part of my life and it, I connect it to everything. Um, I can tell just from the microphone yeah. that you have and, and the headphones. It's cardio. Yeah, it's Scarlett. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I use, a, I use an interface. Yeah. What, what's funny is I had asked my wife, I was like, hey, can I use your your your, your AirPods? Uh, I'm not an AirPods person. I don't like wireless. Um, and I was like, I just don't want to be the dumbass like sitting there with my like huge <laughs> like headphones on. <laughs> mm, mm. But they're sitting yeah, there you. like on a nail on my, my PC uh, desktop yeah. for when I like go on Steam and I play uh, board games with my friends. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's beautiful, man. I love, uh, uh, yeah, I play a lot of single player games. I haven't really done much of the uh, online stuff. It's where I am. I'm, I live fairly remote in Australia. Okay. And uh, there's, there's like, I'm I, I'm using, I'm mobile tethering at the moment. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's, so well, you... I actually have hair in real life. And it just hasn't rendered? <laughs> yeah, it hasn't rendered in yet. No. no. Just the new technology. <laughs> like, don't render the hair. That's too many pixels and too many particles. So... The, the internet won't work for that's that. That's right. That's right. No, that's right. No, it wouldn't. It wouldn't. No. No. <laughs> See, for me, it's it's all about time. I don't have the time. That's why I like playing the game. You know, people are like, "Why don't you stop fucking playing the game?" I I have ten minutes here, twenty minutes there, ten minutes here. I'm always out of the house. I don't have time to play games. Uh, so playing something on my phone is just easy. Playing mm. something on my phone is quick. I can play it for three hours during the day, but five minutes here. You know, twenty minutes before bed. Yeah, um, if, I, man. if I do play games on my computer, it's like um, it's like setting up three weeks in advance with friends and be like, "Hey guys, are we playing Catan tonight? Like, are we playing? Mm -hmm. We're sure. We we're all on a good schedule now." Um, yeah, yeah. And like my brother, he's I, I think he, ah, shit. I think is Korea the same time zone as Australia? I'm not sure. I, I don't. It's wait, similar. Wait, uh, we're plus 10 where I am in my time zone. So it's not far. They'd but, be but, maybe but an from, hour or so behind. But from me, you're you're 15. And they're between 12 and 15. They're somewhere around there. Let's Google it. Let's find out. <laughs> well, it's, so, yeah, they're two hours behind. They're two hours. All right. So it, it's so, a little so, easier. But, like, yeah. we have a Discord server for my family. And I'll be like, oh, hey, like, do you want to play? And then I'll have to wait 24 hours for him to respond. And he'll be like, yeah, we'll play. And it'll be 10 p.m. for him and 8 a.m. for me, um, mm, or mm. or vice versa. Yeah, uh, I, I like that, uh, that that Reddit comment you went. Uh, yeah, we've got to try and work it out so it's acceptable time for us to, drink. to have a drink, mate. It's Australia. It, any time is an acceptable time to have a have a drink out here. <laughs> any time at all. It's, we, I don't know if you noticed, but we live next door to the sun. It's fucking yeah. hot. <laughs> yeah, I saw it in the movie. I saw it today. Like, I, clearly, yeah. it's it's hot all the time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was the thing. That's that's why when I saw you had posted the comment, I, I said, um, I said to myself, I want to try to get this done now because like I work Saturday mornings. So and I have this week off. Right. So like if I can bang out this one first where I'm I'm talking to someone that I already know, but also like somebody that uh, is so far away, it's easier to make the time when I have all this time off. Mm -hmm. um, whereas it. I don't know, next week I'm talking to someone who's two hours from me and I'm like, great, we can do that literally any day. I could do that on a Tuesday. I could do that on a Thursday. It doesn't yeah. fucking matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you got me on a good time too. I, I, I work two jobs. So uh, this is one of the, like the, the rare pieces of time that I actually have free that I can do. Yeah, stuff. free. So yeah. so I teach. I, I, I teach karate. I teach school. What do you do? Uh, so my main job, I um, uh, detail trusses and frames. So house okay. skeleton sit at a computer and uh, design them and then send them off and they get built. Um, so is I that like architecture off. style or like engineer? Essentially. Style yeah. Yeah. Engineering okay. more than anything. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, and my second job is I wash dishes at the local pub. Hey man. Yeah. yeah. Got to do what we got to do. That's it, man. So yeah, I don't get a lot. Uh, yeah. So main job six till two thirty, and then I come home and have a little bit of a break and then the other job five till nine. And then that's me. Seven days a week, nearly. Seven, oh, shit. Yeah, yeah. So my main job, I get the weekend off, Saturday, Sunday. but the, the And then you kind of do that. Monday, Tuesday, you, off of the pub. So I'm always do doing something every day, but yeah. yeah. Do you get, like, free beer? I do. Plenty. Okay, that's... Plenty. If I, if yeah. I had a... Bro oh, there goes my cat. Oh, hey, my God. kitty. What a pain in the ass. <laughs> We, uh, we locked her in I'm here. allergic to <laughs> I, I am also allergic, but... Uh, yeah. 
You must this spend a fortune on antihistamines. <laughs> that's that's exactly that's exactly what I do. This little mm. piece of shit alien. Mm. They're great creatures, though, man. Oh my creatures. god, They're wonderful. Yeah, yeah, no, work, work, work. So when you say you're my, well, my dad's a teacher, okay. Can I ask you? Can I ask you this question? Uh, are, are you a teacher in the sense, like in classrooms, sort of? So for me, I, I say that I'm a teacher. I, I actually, my my general, my actual t- job title is I'm a one to one. So I work with kids and special with special needs, um, and I am in a classroom, and I do sometimes teach, but predominantly my job is to keep one specific student on task, right? So that like one kid who maybe has like really extreme ADHD and is going like this while whoever's teaching, it's like my job to like get them focused yeah. and keep them going or pull them out of the class if I have to. Um, so okay. I am in classrooms. Um, it's just easier yeah. to say, oh yeah, no, I teach rather yeah, than- Yeah, I get you, I get you. Oh, yeah. this is what I do. Uh, my, my question was gonna be like, uh, my dad does it, he's a smart ass. Uh, a student will say, oh, can I go to the, can I go to the toilet? And he'll say, I don't know. Can you, oh, I was just wondering if you did that shit as well. I don't. If you're holding up the tradition. <laughs> I don't. You that, know what? Uh, you've experienced that shit, haven't you? <laughs> I've worked with teachers that do that and they go, I don't know. Can you? It's may yeah. I, uh, and listen, I don't want to get into the English language right now, but like, can I is acceptable language. Um, but I, what I will Indeed. say to kids. If they say, oh, can I go to the bathroom? I'll say, can you do me a favor and go for me too and save me some time? And then they look at me like, <laughs> what? <laughs> but I do it with a I'm straight face. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. they go, I can't, that doesn't work that way. And I go, oh, okay, mm-hmm. I don't know. I just thought I'd ask. Yeah. Um, so that's, yeah, that's no, my. Until, unless you know, you know. That, that's my joke. Me. Yeah, yeah. I dig it. I like it. No, heavy, heavy use of sarcasm it is a need for teaching. Um, I wanted to go and uh, do a, a go to uni for it, for teaching. I did music to, a, a degree instead. Um, I, don't, I don't think I'm patient enough. Uh, there's teaching. a lot of work that goes into it. Yeah, for teaching. Yeah, I can oh teach guitar and all that sort of stuff, but teaching like actual human beings, like, yeah, I don't think I can. I don't think I could do it, man. It's... Uh, <laughs> I could, I think I could do a, like a whole like podcast of just the stupid, like ridiculous shit that I hear on a daily basis. <laughs> I can't imagine. <laughs> not just from teachers, um, not just from teachers, but also from like, or not just from kids, but also from like teachers mm-hmm. and from like substitutes and just like the, the craziest shit that have happened to me over the years, like with, uh, just looking young, you know, like I'm 36 and people mistake, like they ID me for beer and they're like, oh, are you even 18? Um, so yeah, going into school. You do look young. You do. I'll give you that. Yeah. Uh, I, 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 <laughs> another time I'll share some stories with you on, on some weird shit that that's happened over the years. But uh, I could yeah, do fine. like endless, endless, <laughs> endless, endless hours. Hmm. It's like my dad, I, I love him to death. Don't get me wrong. He's my dad. Um, but he, 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 like he, he's got a good work ethic, but he's also the laziest dude that I've ever met. Like he, he's turned that into an art and he, he often says like, we don't get paid enough to do what we do. And teachers don't, I agree with that. But then I'll say to him, I'm like, there are a stack of fucking math quizzes over there from two years ago that you haven't marked yet. What are you talking about? <laughs> it just brings them home on the holidays and just forgets them there. I'm like, most kids missed out on that fucking B minus, man. What are you? Well, you go, uh, Come on. who cares? But that's the thing. Like, I, I uh, man, like There's this is turning a family in that class who's freaking out right now because their kids <laughs> missed out on that. Don't they? You know what I mean? You, you'd Come have on. no, you, Again, this goes down to like, I've, I've had kid who's got like a B plus and like their parents are like, why'd they get a B plus? You didn't tell us about this quiz. They should have at least an A minus. Like, I don't understand why they get this one wrong. Uh, we didn't get notified six days in advance. Your kid's in third fucking grade. Like, I, it's okay. Like, it's mm. fine. Everything will be okay. It's um, all right. Just relax. Take it it's easy. It's all right. Yeah, it's, um, it used to be though, like if, if the student wasn't kind of doing well, the, the parents and, the, and the, the teacher would get together and talk and then it'd be, the onus would be on the student to, hey, you know, get it's it not right anymore. that sort of stuff. It's not like that anymore, is it? It's, no. Now it's, 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 it's yelling at the teacher, like, 
what are you it's, you're doing it's, on it's, levels, it's very different and congratulations what we just did is our three viewers who maybe have listened to this whole thing up here have just tuned out um yeah because <laughs> it's not about <laughs> fucking star wars anymore um we stopped talking about star wars ages ago maybe we should have gotten a chat out first yeah. so <laughs> we'll so we're gonna pause that here's, here's what we're gonna do i want to answer that question to you personally but i do i, I want to <laughs> stop the recording in a second and i think in the future what i'm gonna do for people is have a hard fucking button um yeah. so that people don't look at it the, the four of you who are looking at my own little personal bubble and the subreddit aren't looking at like an hour long thing and going, Oh fuck. I don't want to listen to that shit. I'm not listening uh, to that shit. Yeah, no, God I'm, damn it. So, so, I, so I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to close, close this out and I'm going to say, fuck you to whoever actually made it this far. Um, and I'm going to say thank you to you for saying fuck it and giving me an hour of your time. Um, but I'm still going to answer that question for you and anyone else who wants an answer to that question sucks for them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, man, like we, we, 